I'm your host Stephanie Wilson and tonight I'm going to have the pleasure of talking to local high school students, seniors as a matter of fact, who are, are pumpkin princesses and pumpkin princes um, in our Rutland City Halloween Parade this year, which we're so excited to have back with us in the year 2022. It, it's the 61st annual Halloween Parade and we're so excited to be back. Um, and these young people that you'll see tonight are going to be in the parade and two will be chosen to lead off the parade as our Halloween um, pumpkin king and queen. So um, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to our first two students that I get to speak with tonight. And they are Mallory Hogan and Colby Perry from West Rutland High School. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> you're, doing. you're our first, um, our first guests here tonight, so you got to sort of see the whole process before we got started. <laughs> yeah. um, it's nice to have you here tonight. You're actually going to get to be in this parade after um, two years yeah. of people missing it and wanting it to come back. So it must be kind of exciting. It huh? is, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it and really glad to have you both with us. It's always nice to talk to the different young people in our area. And um, so you've been talking to a volunteer panel of judges just about your involvement in the community, things you do in school, and that's what we're gonna talk about tonight and share with the rest of our community. So um, Mallory, we'll start with you. Um, and if you wouldn't mind for folks who don't know, um, you mentioned that you're very involved with an organization called Tatum's Totes. Yes. Um I work with Elizabeth Grimes. She set up an organization to make bags for kids in foster care. When they first go in, they get a care bag that consists of like pajamas, any items that they'll need on their first night with their families. That is really sweet. Yes. That must that must feel really good to know that you're giving some comfort mm -hmm. and that and what is probably a really scary time for these kids. Yes. What a wonderful thing to be involved with. Um, and and Colby, you're also very involved with your community and also with your church would you like to tell us a little bit about it um yeah for the last few summers through 2019 2021 and 2022 i worked at a campground over in new york it's called uh the pines but it's a christian run organization that like tries to spread the word about god around and uh this past summer actually i worked with uh kids and kids program and it kind of opened up my eyes to a lot of things that i might want to do when i get a little more understanding of what I want to do after high school. Wonderful. And as you're sitting here tonight and you're in the TV studio, I noticed that you are also involved with some um, with some uh, recording of church services um, for your church. So yeah. is, was it a little fun to see some of the behind the scenes? Yes, it, it really was. You're interested in um, that kind of work as well? Yes. Very good. Good. So we um, maybe we have a future PEG TV <laughs> volunteer producer as well would be great. Um, so Mallory, it looks like uh, you want to go to college to be a speech language pathologist. Yes. You know, I have read that during um, the pandemic, speech problems have become much more of an issue for children than ever before, mm -hmm. likely because of so much mask wearing and not as much time around peers and with their teachers and mm -hmm. losing some of those social skills a little bit too. Is, mm -hmm. um, did that have anything to do with your, with your plans or had you always thought you'd like to be a um, um, so I volunteer with Unified Sports since my freshman year, and I think that really opened up my eyes. Like a lot of the kids were nonverbal. Um, Unified Sports helps kids with special needs um, participate in other thing, other events that like kids can normally do. And seeing that the speech language pathologist got some of the kids from my freshman year being nonverbal to my senior year being able to talk to me, I thought it was so cool. And I got to shadow her, and I absolutely loved what she does. So it's it's a really, I mean, it's always been a great need for many people, but I think it's it's even more important now. So you're yes. getting into into a field that is that very much needs <laughs> needs you in the future. So uh, you'll be making a big difference for a lot of kids, I'm quite sure. Thank so you. that's that's wonderful, and. Um, 
What are you thinking about doing, Colby, as, as you sort of work through your senior year and anticipate graduation? I would like to go to um, the college. Like, there's a college right next to the campground I go to every summer to help out, and it's actually like they own that um, that property, and I can also work there and also go to be a student there. But I also want to go outside of that and become a director in the film industry for uh, TV and stuff like that. Wow, that's yeah. wonderful. So uh, you, you both have some, some pretty high aspirations and uh, probably raring to go when, <laughs> when that graduation day rolls around. Um, how about some, some activities that you, that you enjoy doing um, when you're you know, not studying hard, which I'm sure you both spend a lot of time doing. Um, what are some of the things that you like to do, Mallory? Um, I play basketball. I've helped kids who are younger learn to play, and we won the state championship last year, which is a huge yes. accomplishment for me, and I hope to do it again this year. And I do that all throughout the year, fall AAU, spring AAU, summer, fall. And I also have a horse who I'm spending a lot of time with. I barrel race and Jimcana with him. Well, you have to tell us your horse's name and give a shout out. Yeah, his name's Jaeger. I just got him a couple months ago. <laughs> well, hello, Jaeger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that's wonderful. Uh, so it sounds, it sounds like you're pretty basketball crazy, though. Yes. And I'm so glad you got to have that experience of, of the big win mm -hmm. um, while you're here at school. That's, um, that has to be something you'll always treasure. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, Colby, what do you like to do um, for your extracurriculars? Um, normally, like track and field. I've done track and field for now two years. Yeah, two years. And also, last year, I made states for shot put, so... That was pretty decent Wow, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. So um, all these disruptions in the last couple of years, it sounds like they haven't really slowed you down too much. No. <laughs> You're still on track. That's wonderful. Um, well, it's pretty obvious to me why your school would pick both of you to, uh, to represent them. I think you're going to um, have a lot of fun at the parade on the 29th. Um, I always t I always tell everybody dress dress for warmth and not for fashion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it can get a little Good chilly, advice. but we will be there. Um, and I, I just want to point out really quickly something, Colby, that you said in your application, uh, yeah. um, which is that in applying for this, you're stepping a little bit out of your comfort zone. Um, that you don't always like to be the center of attention, but that this is an honor for you. So um, it's an honor for us, too, to have both of you here and to have you representing your schools. So um, you'll be coming back onto the studio set pretty, pretty soon. We'll be finding out who the, who the king and queen are, but regardless, everyone is going to represent their schools as their princess and prince. So congratulations for being pumpkin royalty. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice to meet you both. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, too. too. What a lovely, lovely um, couple of students to start us off tonight. So fun to talk with Mallory and Colby from West Rutland High School. Um, this is this is not my job. I do this as a volunteer, but can I just say, if this were my job, this would be the best part of my job, <laughs> just talking with these students. And speaking of which, I have in front of me um, Lauren Castales and Anthony Cavallari from Mount St. Joseph Academy, MSJ. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Hi, thank nice you. to see you. And you're wearing your you're wearing your school uniform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, full disclosure, I have a I have a MSJ graduate of my own, and, oh, and no uh, a young one who will who will be there someday. Oh, so oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's always nice to to dress her up in the uniform. I don't yeah. even have to think about yeah. what exactly. she's going to wear. Very easy in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. And so it's pretty familiar to me. Um, it's nice to have you both here. Thank you. Um, and especially because we've been a couple of years without our beloved Halloween parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you are going to be in front of an audience that is so happy <laughs> to be there, right? We're both super excited. Yeah. <laughs> super excited, mm -hmm. yes. And for folks who can't make it out in the whatever conditions we will mm -hmm. have that night, because it can, be, it can be beautiful and it can be not so beautiful, mm -hmm. but we're happy to be there regardless. But people can also watch it right here on uh, on Peg TV, which is great. Um, so, Lauren, we're going to start with you. Mm -hmm. um, you are a senior, mm -hmm. yeah. and I would like to ask you about all this work you've been doing in the emergency department at um, <laughs> our RMC because yeah. that is not for the faint of heart. Oh, I love it though. So, before COVID, 
I started volunteering at the hospital. My mom works there and she thought that it might be fun for me to do. So I started volunteering there and then I got put in the emergency department one day and I instantly fell in love with it. So then I got asked and I was scheduled to work in the ED from then on out. And then COVID hit so I couldn't go back there anymore. But this summer I was finally able to go back so I scheduled myself the emergency department all summer and I just actually got my LNA on Monday. I passed. Wow, congratulations. So my next steps are to work in the emergency department at the hospital as an LNA and then go to college for nursing to be in the nursing department wow. or the emergency department. <laughs> and you are desperately needed too, as of course you know. Yeah. Um, all of these healthcare heroes that we've had in the last few years, it's been, it's just been. Um, heartbreaking sometimes, yeah. but also a joy to see um, what they are capable of. And yeah. you'll be joining, uh, yeah. you'll be joining this wonderful group. So, they're, and they're, I'm sure very, very lucky to have you. <laughs> um, and Anthony, it looks like you like to be involved with community projects as well and, and um, working in your community. What are some of the things that you enjoy doing? Well, some of the things I like to do, well, Lauren, both of us like to do project help at MSJ. Yes. Which is where the members of the community come and donate to us as a school, whether it be food or money, and we take that and get it together during Christmas time to help the less fortunate in Rutland to make their Christmas just a little bit better. It's a wonderful program, one I'm familiar with too, and, and I, th I don't think anyone in Rutland City isn't aware of, of Project <laughs> Help. It really does. Um, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so, Lauren, we've kind of covered your career goals yeah. <laughs> because it sounds like you're, you're going to be very much uh, part of the medical field mm -hmm. and it looks like you want to head to Boston? Yes, I want to do all of my clinicals in Boston. So I'm looking at either Boston College or Endicott College, two very different schools, but mm -hmm. I really liked both of them. So I'm hoping to end up in that area when I'm done with my schooling. And I just hope you'll come back to us someday because, you know, we can't help but make that pitch. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, Anthony, you're involved with the family business. Yeah. So I want to go to college probably at Castleton to go for a business degree. And I've been around my family's business for really ever since I was born. And I kind of want to stay with it because, I mean, I learn a little bit every time I go in there. And it just, my interest spikes every time I go in there. And I really like it a lot. Well, that must make your family feel pretty happy too, yeah. to know that you're genuinely passionate about it and that you want to carry that on. So that that's fantastic. Um, and I hope you do come to Castleton because I teach there and I'd love oh, to have perfect. you in a class. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, why don't you both tell me a little bit about some of your extracurricular activities that you like to do? Um, well, I mean, I do a lot of volunteering, but other than that, I play soccer. I played soccer all my four years at MSJ and then I do some like, uh, I forgot what it's called. Year-round soccer, sorry. I play on a team called Fusion in Manchester. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of that. And then other than that, I really just hang out with my friends a lot. I like to just drive around, go to McDonald's, you know, <laughs> typical <laughs> teenager well, stuff. You should be doing some of that mm -hmm. stuff, right? We, yeah. Well, everybody got a little bit cheated out of normal yeah. for, for quite a while. So yeah. get as much normal as you can in your yeah. senior year, too. Mm -hmm. You're working. You're, you're all working very hard and you get, need to have a little bit of fun as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, and what do, you like to, what do you like to do, Anthony? Well, first of all, we're both in the MSJ student government, mm -hmm. so we're very active in that, as well as I play football for Mill River through a member-to-member -member program, and I play basketball and baseball for MSJ. And in the summer, I just like to golf a lot for fun kind of not competitive and just very laid back and just a good time. Just to keep you active and out in that exactly. beautiful Vermont countryside <laughs> in the summertime, right? Yes. Good. Um, so both of you in answering why do you think you were chosen to represent your school said some really sweet things about your school. Mm -hmm. And I know that educators and administrators um, really across the whole country have been through a whole lot and have done a lot to keep us and keep our kids yeah. safe and in school during all of this. So um, would you both like to share a little bit of thoughts of, of, of what you said about, about your schools? Because I'm sure they'd love to hear it. <laughs> I think we're both just super thankful for the community that we have mm -hmm. at MSJ. All of our teachers 
are super supportive and they're always there to help us and we're a lot of we're kind of friends with our teachers but mm -hmm. we still have that professional relationship we're all super close and because it's such a small school we all really get to know each other and we're all really there for uh, for each other both students and teachers so it's a really great mix well i'm i'm sure they're really proud to hear that mm -hmm. and and to hear that um you know and to know that you're representing them this year in the parade and and as i as i told um mallory and colby please dress warmly and not just yeah. for fashion yes. right exactly. <laughs> and we will see you on october 29th at the parade thank you thank so you very much. much thank you so much for being here tonight thank you great thank to you. see you <laughs> oh. see these are really great kids <laughs> just make you smile when you, when you see them. Um, so we'll get ready. Our next, our next group is filtering in. Get all comfortable. Hi, you must be Cammie Sweets and Levi Billings from Mill River Union High School. Welcome. Nice to have you here with us. Um, so you are looks like you both stay pretty busy um, outside of school and in school as well and um, your school has chosen you to represent them not just tonight but also in the parade on October 29th so you'll be uh, waving to the crowds <laughs> and trying to stay warm um, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourselves and also your school and and um, what you've been up to since you started school this year so you're both seniors and um, Cami, it looks like you were a student leader of the home, homecoming dance and help organize pep rallies. Yeah. Those are some of the things you like to so do. So I'm really involved with our school spirit committee, and so we help out with like pep rallies and homecoming and football games and prom and all that stuff. And our principal, Miss Thompson, actually said that I was a really big student leader of our homecoming and setting up for that and running all of that and stuff. So she kind of steered you our way. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm, glad, I'm really glad that she did. Um, now, Levi, ever since, I, ever since I read this, I've been dying to ask you. It says that you were the school pie eating champ for Spirit Week. <laughs> and I want to know, do they give you some really good pies or do they just give you like those whipped cream pies? You know, what, what do they give you? Like, so the it, good was stuff? Just, it was just a plate full of whipped cream. A and plate full of whipped cream. I destroyed it. And, and you destroyed it. I, I beat everybody. <laughs> you did. Wonderful. Yes. Do you remember how many you made your way through? There was only one. See who could go the fastest. Oh, who could go the fastest. Yeah. But if you're not eating that kind of pie, what is your, what's your favorite flavor of pie? <laughs> Hmm. Probably apple rhubarb pie. Apple, yeah, and or, or apple rhubarb, yes. And we are definitely in apple pie season coming up on pumpkin pie season. So I just had to ask because I'm, I'm a big yeah. fan of pie. <laughs> well, that that sounds like a lot of fun. And um, you also now, this is saying a lot. You volunteered to paint the football locker rooms. Yep. This this is not a small job. <laughs> well, so our locker room at our school is was just a, a shed, a wooden shed. And so we wanted to, uh, like, put some pride in our team. So yeah. we, uh, over the summer, some guys got together and our new coaches. We painted the inside uh, blue and red to, because we're the Minutemen, so to make it more patriotic, I guess. Absolutely. So you, you, you spiffed up your school and yep. gave some team spirit. And it, it, it seems like that's what you are both, that's sort of your niche in your school is um, school spirit, right? Really kind of uh, being there for your school, for your classmates, your teammates, and um, making them understand that they should be happy and proud to be there, right? Um, so Cammie, what are some of the things that you're thinking about doing once you graduate? I really do want to go to college. I want to go for marketing and business, mm -hmm. specifically for luxury brands. So ideally, I would want to go to schools abroad and like study there because that's like amazing opportunities there and like internships but that's going to be really expensive so i just want to get over there as soon as i can and just Wonderful. do as much as i can yeah so you have a very specific idea of what what you'd like to do well, that's wonderful. And and Levi, it looks it looks from your application that you're ready to work. 
right? You yeah. just you want to get out there, you're ready to work. Yeah. Um, what, what are some of your interests? So I don't really know exactly mm -hmm. what it is, but it has to do with the outdoors, something with the outdoors. I hate being inside too long, so I just want to find something that has to do with outdoors, trees, wildlife, anything that has to do with those. Wonderful. Well, um, you know, that, that's very much needed and it's a good aspiration. And you know what, you're going to get plenty of outdoor time at the parade too. You're not going to be stuck inside anywhere. You get to be on top of a car or in a truck or something waving to people. So that'll be pretty fun. <laughs> you get to, get to have some of those outdoor aspirations fulfilled on that very day. Um, so let's see, finally here, um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about some of the extracurricular activities that you like to participate in, and we can, we can start with Cami. Yeah, so the school spirit committee, I volunteer a lot for that, mm -hmm. and like we meet a couple times a month. But other than that, I've taken a lot of AP and honors art classes. I am really passionate about painting and art, so I just, take all the opportunities I can to do that um, yeah that that sounds like plenty to keep, to keep you busy um, it also says that you have um, participated in cheerleading and basketball as yeah, well so that's <laughs> that's a lot and um, Levi you sound like you're a football guy yeah, yeah. I, I play <laughs> I play football yeah yeah all looks like all through high school uh, like not my sophomore year because I didn't sophomore. want to play too in touch so Gotcha. I, I took a, a break. Took a hiatus, yep. and, and then you came back and enjoying that for your senior year? Yep. I also uh, have photography classes, so I like to take pictures, like nature pictures. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Um, th that's great. I mean, certainly, oh my gosh, the last few days have been so beautiful for foliage. I haven't got, uh, I didn't have time this weekend to take any pictures with football and work and stuff, so. Hopefully you can grab some before the yeah. rain and the wind knocks them all off the trees, right? That's always a little bit of a sad thing, but we have enjoyed some gorgeous scenery out there. Um, well, I think that you are both wonderful representatives for your school and exhibit a tremendous amount of school spirit. It's great that you are going to be the pumpkin princess and prince for your school, and pretty soon we'll find out who's going to be our queen and king <laughs> for, for the event. So um, we'll see you soon back on the stage over here and also at the parade on October 29th. So thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. having thank us. You. Great to have you. Um, and have fun. <laughs> so that was Cami Sweet and Levi Billings from Mill River Union High School. It was really nice to speak with them and to meet them. Hello, this must be Valerie. Yeah. Yeah, Valerie Johnson and Brandon Wicks of Proctor High. Yeah, yep. that is us. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, you, you're a small high school with a lot of, with a lot of heart, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I, that's how I always I always think of Proctor, um, and we always get such nice um, students in from Proctor for, mm -hmm. for this event. So I'm glad to have both of you here tonight. You're both um, high school seniors. How big is your class this year for Proctor? It's 19. That, that's kind of a, a bigger one. Yeah. I've seen it smaller. I think <laughs> like three kids are at Stafford, and then we have another who is in the early college program at Castleton. So we have a really small class in actual classes. So when they're, when they're actually, oh, they're all away, then it is, is a little on the smaller yeah. side. Yeah, it's huh? pretty small. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I do know there have been years, though, when there's 12 or 13. So yeah. you can consider yourself one of the... Well, the bigger classes <laughs> for Proctor, anyway, right? Um, well, it's a great—it's a great little town, um, and it, it looks like you—you you both like to do things to sort of uh, be part of the town and, and part of your community. Yeah. Um, Valerie, would you like to tell us about some of the things you like to do yeah, for community so service? Last year, I joined the NHS um, for my school, so I'm currently the only member. So I've been doing some. Uh, volunteer work with that. I'm also part of the mentor mentee program that my English teacher, Mr. D Mr. Daly, just started this year. Um, that's every Tuesday, Thursday, um, which I enjoy a lot. Um, so you're working with with some of the younger students. Yeah, oh, it's been must fun. Love that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's also peer leaders, so we help correlate, like coordinate um, 
any dances. We've already done homecoming this past weekend. Um, we're also going to be like making the assemblies, all that kind of stuff. And so that'll be fun too. That'll keep you busy. Yeah. Um, and Brandon, it looks like you like to do a lot of outdoor stuff. Yeah. Trail work and... Always outside our English class, we have mm -hmm. a outdoor class and we help build trails and clean up trails at Pine Hill. And that's a, that's a beautiful and area. But it, oh, no, it does, yeah, it's, it needs it's, it's a actually, lot of work. Yeah, it's nice out there. Yeah. And then, um, you know, as she said, we help out with prom and we head up, help set up all the events and we just had a prep rally, so we were doing that. Um, the girls set it up and then me and my friend Bodie, we helped clean it up at the end. And oh, very we were, nice. We were DJing and yeah. having a good time with everybody. And When you have a small you know, class, nice. you probably can't say, mm, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do it you know you yeah. kind of have to kind of have to get in there and, and help your classmates yeah. right yeah, everyone participates so it's, yeah you gotta have teamwork all the time so that's great definitely. that's that's yeah. absolutely the way it should be and, and Brandon can you tell me what a restorative practices circle keeper is okay yeah <laughs> so the circle keeper essentially is um, so during advisory it's pretty much just the senior class mm -hmm. and and so essentially we set up a circle, you know, we all sit in a circle and I will ask questions pretty much like how's everybody's week going, you know, make sure everybody's all right. And we all just have a small conversation and I pass around a talking piece and we all just talk and make so sure we're all like good. So it's like touching base. And yeah, we're all just like coming back down, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, our yeah. school's very much wanting us to get in touch with our feelings and express that to one another. And he's definitely very much a leader in that sort of sense and takes yeah. charge of it. Very good. You know, the the last few years have, have been pretty rough and probably hardest mm -hmm. on uh, kids. Yeah. And, you know, wh whether it's young kids or high school kids, so much has been disrupted from you and, and mm -hmm. flat out taken away in, in some cases. So yeah. um, touching base with each other and, and seeing how everyone's doing, I think, is really important. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you're involved with that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, about future plans, future mm -hmm. goals. That senior year goes by really fast. So um, what are you thinking about doing, Valerie? Um, I'm hoping to become a middle school, high school teacher, primarily math and science. I would love to be an English teacher, but I'm thinking that it won't really click well with math because I've always been a very much a math person. My mom's a math teacher, actually. Um, she must be proud. Oh, yeah, she was really excited to find out that I wanted to be a teacher. Yes. Um, I'm hoping to be more on the physics side of science because that's been my favorite subject of science I've ever studied. I had it last year as a class and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm hoping to be in that sort of range for teaching. So, Well, you're needed. I'm sure they would take you right yeah. now. I think. <laughs> but teachers are very, very needed right now. So that's, that is fantastic. Um, and Brandon, it looks like you want to be involved in a vocational pro program, but you haven't, you're still kind of weighing your options? Or some yeah, that you're um, thinking about? so I have a job already lined up that's pretty good for getting straight out of high school with, and then I was looking to do that and then possibly go and do a trade, you know, like a electrical and plumbing, probably yeah. do like a four-year program at a CCV or something like that, so terrific also something that is that is very very much needed and um, I'm hoping some some of you young people will maybe even consider around you know sticking around mm -hmm. with us because mm -hmm. <laughs> we need you here too um, but we're really glad that you are both here tonight mm -hmm. and that you're going to be in the parade uh, I'm sure your your school is proud to see you here on the broadcast and also in the parade on uh, Saturday, October 29th. So it's coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So dress warmly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can't tell you that enough. It gets real. It gets a little cold out there, but once you, the excitement gets going, you see all those folks going by and all the crowds. You, you get so excited, you forget that you're cold. <laughs> so I hope you have a good time. Yeah. Um, and thanks for being here with us tonight. It's really course. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. So that was Valerie Johnson and Brandon Wicks of Proctor High School. Really great to uh, meet both of them. Um, fun to be there with them tonight. Uh, we do have two more candidates and they're not able to be here with us this evening. Um, and they are Maddie Peters 
and Eli Paquette from Rutland High School. So um, we're sorry that they can't be with us here tonight, but we wanted to mention them. They are going to be representing their school in the parade on the 29th. Um, and we want to wish them good luck and a lot of fun in the parade. And um, sorry that, that they couldn't be here, but wanted them to be recognized. So um, Maddie and Eli, we're, we're thinking about you tonight. Um, okay, so we are going to, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to talk to you for a minute, <laughs> our viewers, because those are all of our students for the evening. Um, as you know, we have a volunteer panel of judges and they are deliberating right now and it's probably not a very easy decision for them to decide who's going to be the Rutland City Halloween um, pumpkin king and queen um, because as you know, this is the pumpkin royalty pageant. So uh, that decision is being made as we speak and the students will be coming back out onto our other set and you'll get to see them again and we'll get to all witness the crowning and we'll all find out together at the same time. Um, who our pumpkin queen and king are, but we will be surrounded by royalty regardless because we have all our princesses and princes with us tonight um, from our local high schools. So uh, we just want to remind you of some things coming up. Obviously the parade, we've talked about it. It's the 61st annual Halloween parade. It is going to be at 630 on October 29th. That's a Saturday. Um, so we hope if you are not there in person that you will tune in and watch it live here on PEG TV channel 1075. Um, so that's going to be very exciting. So channel 1075 and VTEL 163 is where you can catch that. Um, the Rutland Recreation Department also has some really fun events planned as we move our way to the parade. So the first one was kicking off tonight and that's the Pumpkin Royalty Pageant. And we also have um, the uh, jack-o'-lantern contest which i believe all the submissions have already come in for that all the guesses as to who the jack-o'-lantern is that's always been a fun tradition here in rutland and they also have the running scared 5k um, this kicks off at the brock community action parking lot on october 29th parade day at 10 a.m um, and you can go to the website, Rutland Rex website, to find out more information about these events. Uh, so that's a lot of fun leading up to the parade itself. I'd like to give some thank yous tonight. Um, events like this um, certainly do not come together in the snap of a finger. Um, they are, it's a lot of details. So um, we would like to thank from the Rutland Recreation Department, Joe Bonacera, April Chaffee and Kim Peters, and of course all of the volunteers who are, um, who are involved with Rutland Rec as well for making all these fun events come alive for us. Um, and also we would like to thank from PEG TV, um, Chelsea Tice, who is our um, production coordinator for tonight and has really pulled all this together, and, and our whole staff here at PEG TV, um, Rich and Jim and Sarah and Tom and Nancy as well. So um, thank you to all of them um, for making all of this uh, fun stuff happen. And they will be working very hard the night of the parade as well to bring it to you live. So, um, I believe that's everything that I wanted to let you know about uh, before all the students come back onto the stage and we can let you know um, what is happening here uh, with our crowning of the pumpkin king and queen. So we're going to go to a brief break and when we come back, we'll find out the results of our Halloween royalty pageant. Thanks. Welcome back to the Rutland City Halloween Pumpkin Royalty Pageant. Uh, we want to thank the um, Rutland Recreation and Parks Department for bringing us this special event tonight. And we'd like to thank PEG TV for hosting. It's been a lot of fun meeting these young people. 
Um, you're going to get a chance to see all of them again at the parade. The Rutland City Halloween Parade is back for their 61st annual event, and that's going to be Saturday, October 29th at 6.30 p.m. So please do be there in person, or you can watch it live on PEG TV channel 1075, and then later you'll be able to watch it streaming as well. So um, without any extra talking about this let's get to the the major event here uh, we're going to have the crowning of our pumpkin royalty our halloween king and queen for 2022 and to uh, bring us this special part of the evening we're going to throw it over to joe bonacera from the rutland recreation and parks department joe thank you stephanie and to kickstart the parade um, on October 29th. So all of you rotating infectants here, my instructors, will um, lead the parade out for us at the end of the month. Uh, but before I crown tonight's winners, I'd like to thank Peg TV for donating their studio, Stephanie Wilson for taking the time to conduct the interviews this evening, and our panel of vol volunteer judges. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, we've I'd like to also thank Come Alive Outside for donating, generously donating tonight's prizes for a winner. And without further ado, I would like to crown our winners this evening. Um, and then we have, I don't know, I think it's going to be MSJ. They are tonight's winners. So there's your, oh, sorry. <laughs> there's that. And then we have some nice luggages donated to these guys as they prepare for college next year. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And we look forward to seeing everyone at the end of the, uh, the parade at the end of the month. Thank you.